Hello, I'm Maria, and today I am going to show you how to fix the WordPress not sending emails issue, plus I will share with you some tips on how to fix it with the most used contact form plugins. A common issue among website owners is WordPress not sending emails correctly or at all. Most managed WordPress hosting providers, including Kinsta, don't provide email hosting. However, that doesn't mean you can't send emails from your WordPress installation. Typically, when you are trying to fix the WordPress not sending emails issue, it is not a problem on the server, but rather email is set up incorrectly on the WordPress installation or there is an incompatibility. In this video, we'll show you how to identify why WordPress isn't sending emails to you or your users and show you how to fix it. Whether you're running a regular WordPress site or a WooCommerce store, we'll show you how to get emails up and running again. We'll also look at some of the most popular contact form plugins and identify exactly why each of them might have problems with sending emails. But before we get too far, I wanna let you know that there will be links to more resources in the video's description. And remember, subscribe and ring that bell to get notifications for future helpful content. So let's get started. There are a few reasons you might be having problems with WordPress not sending emails. It could be that emails are sending but going to spam, or your server isn't configured correctly, or your contact form plugin is sending spoof emails. Let's take a look at how you can identify which of these might be causing the problem. Before running any of these tests, make sure emails from WordPress aren't going to spam. If a user reports to you that WordPress isn't sending emails, it might simply be that their emails are going to spam. Ask them to check their spam folder for emails from the system. Some email clients might identify emails from WordPress as spam because they're automated. A common reason for WordPress not sending emails is that your server isn't configured to send them. Web servers aren't designed for sending emails and it might be that your server isn't configured to use the PHP mail function. The good news is that you can easily check if this is what's causing the problem and you can fix it. The first thing you can do is run a test on your WordPress site with the free check email plugin. This is a basic plugin designed to test if your WordPress installation and or server can send emails. Once installed, go to tools and then check email in your WordPress dashboard. Enter in an email address to send a test to and click on send test email. You will then see a confirmation like this. Check your email client to see if you received the test email. The subject line will appear as test email from your domain. Also, make sure to check your spam or junk mail folder. If you received an email, it means that WordPress can send emails just fine on your web server. If you still aren't receiving emails, this means it is most likely a misconfiguration with your contact form plugin or an incompatibility. You can always reach out to the plugin developer for help. Let them know you ran the above test and that email is working on your WordPress installation itself. Or follow the steps below for some of the most popular contact form plugins. If you are a Kinsta customer and using HHVM, you can temporarily switch over to PHP 7 to test if there is a compatibility issue. You can easily switch to PHP 7 within your My Kinsta dashboard. After testing, you can switch back to HHVM. For both Kinsta customers and for those with other hosts, if you have connection issues, you might also have to try an alternative port. Your host might be blocking the port. Kinsta uses Google Cloud Platform, which by default blocks outbound connections on port 25. According to Google, this outbound SMTP port is blocked because of the large amount of abuse this port is susceptible to. In this case, try an alternative port, such as 2525. Ports 587 and 465 are open at Kinsta. If you've run the test above and your server is configured to send emails, then it means there's a problem with the plugin that's sending emails from your WordPress site. Contact form plugins send emails that are sometimes identified as email clients as spoof emails. These are similar to spam emails. Email clients will flag them as suspicious. The reason contact form emails are sometimes seen as spoof is that they're sent from a different address than the one that's added to the from field in the email you receive. So if you've configured your contact form to populate the form field with the email addresses of the person filling out the form, but the email is actually coming from your WordPress site, then your email client will be suspicious of the email and might mark it as a spoof. You might also run into problems if your emails are being sent from and to the same email address. 
If your forms plugin is sending emails from your admin email address, which it will by default, and you also have it configured to send them to that address, some email providers might not like it. This is less likely to be a problem than the spoof emails issue. For contact forms, the recipient of the notification email will normally be you. This means you can change the settings in your contact form plugin to fix this problem, and you can easily test whether the emails are being received. Any contact form plugin can be affected by this issue. Here are some of the plugins you might have this problem with. Contact Form 7, Gravity Forms, Ninja Forms. I'll show you how to fix the problem of emails not sending for each of the contact forms shortly. First, let's take a look at how you can fix the problem of WordPress not sending emails for each of the causes we've identified. If email is going to spam, you can ask your users to whitelist your emails by adding your email address to their contacts. In Gmail, if they move the email to the inbox, that should mean that emails from that address won't be moved to spam in the future. But adding the addresses to contacts as well will be safest. You might also want to review the email addresses your site is sending emails from. By default, this will be your admin email address. If this is info at, contact at, sales at, or something similar, then email providers will be assuming it's spam. Try changing the email address to something that sounds more professional and make sure any emails sent to that address are diverted to your normal address so you don't miss any replies. You can do this by creating an alias for your email address. Another reason your WordPress emails might be going to spam is because your domain name hasn't been authenticated properly for email. If you've run the email test above and emails aren't sending from your site at all, then you need to use a third-party SMTP provider and link it with your site so it will send emails again. SMTP stands for Simple Mail Transfer Protocol. It moves emails on and across networks, so if your server isn't configured to send emails, it will make it possible. There are a number of SMTP providers to choose from, including a choice of free ones, so this doesn't have to cost you any money, just a little bit of time. If your server is configured to send email, but you're still having problems with entries to forms not sending, it probably means you need to tweak the settings for the form. Let's take a look at what you should do for each of the most popular forms plugins to get those emails sending again. For each of these, I'm assuming you've tried adding SMTP to your site, or your server is already sending emails, and that you've checked the spam folder, but the emails still aren't getting through. Contact Form 7 is one of the oldest and most popular free WordPress forms plugins. If you're having problems with it sending email and you know that your server is sending the email, the fix is to change the address that emails are being sent from. In your WordPress admin, go to Contact and then to Contact Forms. Select the form you've created and open the Mail tab. Make sure the From field has the admin email address of your site, not the email address input in the form. You can use that in the reply to field, but not the from field. Avoid using the same email addresses for the from and to fields. Use a different email address from the one you use on your site. Save your changes. Now test things by completing the form yourself. Gravity Forms is one of the most popular and highly respected premium forms plugins. If you're less likely to encounter problems with emails not sending from this plugin than you are with Contact Form 7, but if it does happen, you'll find the detailed guidance in the plugin documentation. Work through the options in the documentation in order until things are working again. Ninja Forms has both free and premium versions. There are also lots of add-on plugins that you can download for free from the WordPress repository. If you are experiencing issues related to emails with Ninja Forms, the recommended solution is to use the SendWP plugin developed by the same team. SendWP is designed to get SMTP working on your server, which you can also do using free plugins. And if the problem isn't to do with your server not sending email, SendWP won't fix it. So if you don't want to pay the $9 a month for SendWP, try following the email troubleshooting guide in their documentation. I hope you found this helpful. If you're using a different contact form plugin, such as Happy Form, We Forms, Jetpack Contact Form, or Formidable Forms, check the resources in the description below for more info on how to fix issues with those. And as always, let us know if you have any questions in the comments. Kinsta's WordPress hosting can speed up your website by up to 200%. 
and you'll get 24-7 support from our expert WordPress engineers. Let us show you the Kinsta difference. Try a free demo of our My Kinsta dashboard at demo.kinsta.com. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials, explainers, and helpful content like this.